Hello， 大家好，我系 Sue Marguerite， 多谢你收睇我嘅 Little Cantonese Corner。今日二零一八年九月十五号星期六。So today is September 1 5 t h 2018. It's a Saturday here in Hong Kong, and we're all waiting for Super Typhoon. I shouldn't sound so happy about this, but um, Super Typhoon Mangkut. I think I pronounced that right. It means mangosteen in English. It is San j o k in Cantonese. It's that little purple fruit with a white inside. That I've never tried, but that's also the name of the super typhoon that's coming our way, and it's supposed to be here tomorrow. So I thought that I'd better do a video for you guys today on the Dim Gai and Yan Wai. Okay, the Dim Gai is our why, and Yan Wai is because, and that's going to give us a chance to talk about a lot of verbs that are commonly used in everyday、um, in everyday speech. But before we do that, I wanted to go over two verbs in particular. That I'm going to be using a lot in those sentences, and those two are the you. You is y i u. It's a mid tone, just a flat you. Ang or you, I want or need. Okay. The second one is you. G a hard G g you. You also a mid tone there. It sounds so similar. It rhymes with you, you and you. You. There's a few different meanings. One of them is to tell or to ask. Another is to order, to order something to eat, for example, and the third one is to call by your name. And even if you're just starting to learn Cantonese, you probably have used this one in this way, which would be, for example, if somebody asks you what is your name, they're going to say "legu ma mang" or "legu ma manga," the "a"、ah、particle at the end for a question, "legu ma mang," which is "legu ma ye mang." What is your name? And you would say in answer, "Eh, I'll give you and your name, which would be for me, Eh, I'll give you a Sue." So my name is Sue, but we're not going to focus too much on that one today, okay? So let's take a look back at our you, the need or want. Now the first sentence I've written on the board, I want you guys to figure out maybe why I'm using that sentence. Take a look. It means in English, "I need your love." Ring any bells? Okay, in Cantonese that would be a ngo yu. Ngo is the low rising, means I. Ngo yu lay de ngo. Ngo yu lay de ngo. Any any ring any bells? Okay, so this is actually the name of a song in the movie Crazy Rich Asians, and it's in Mandarin in the movie. So it's not you're not going to see ngo yu lay de ngo. You're going to see wo yao ni de ai. Sound familiar? So that song was fantastic in the movie. The movie is phenomenal, and、uh, it's actually I did a little,、um, I read up on it a little bit, and it's actually a swing song from the '50s by a lady named Grace Chang. And if you haven't seen the movie, at least go see the soundtrack. I know it's on Spotify, and you can listen to the movie. But it's in the Mandarin pronunciation. So let's get back to the lesson and take a look at why there's something else about this that I wanted to ask you guys. If you notice, you might be wondering about, and that is the your. So your in Cantonese, if you've watched my videos or you've been learning and you know, you would never say this in Cantonese out loud. You wouldn't really say ngai yu lei dek ngai, right? The dek is a written form. And the reason I used it is obviously I'm referencing the movie, and the movie's in Mandarin, and they would use this and say this. But in Cantonese, they use the. Do you remember what they say? For your, lei ge. Remember, mo ge pang yao, my friend. Ge is the Cantonese form of the possessive with the pronoun, right? So you, am I mine, my or your, and mo ge lei ge. But in written form, it's lei de. Ngo de, mine ngo de, er lei de, er kou de, or what wouldn't be kou? Kou is Mandarin as well, or、uh, Cantonese as well. So it'd be ta, ta de. But that's getting way off, way off the path here. What we're going to be talking about, but just know that even in Hong Kong、uh, school kids, when they're learning to write、um, characters, they'll be learning to write the proper written form, which will be the de. And there's something else too. If you're in Hong Kong or if you've been in Hong Kong and you've taken a taxi. This thick is the same one that they use for taxi, which is taxi in Cantonese in Hong Kong. So a little bit of trivia there for you. The next time you take a taxi, look at the character. The first character it is thick, 
and it is used in that way as the possessive and also for the word taxi, which is Dixie. Okay. Moving on from the I need your love to Ngo Yu Bei Qin. <laughs> I, I need to pay. Bei is give and Qin is money. So Ngo Yu Bei Qin is I need to pay. The third one here is Ngo Yu Sam Ho Chan. If you've seen my fast food video, then you know that we talk about when you're ordering a fast food meal or a set lunch or something, a lot of times they go by the numbers. So Sam Ho Chan is number three meal. Uh, Sam is three. Ho is number and Chan is your meal. Chan Peng, like restaurant, right? Ngo uh, Yu is I need. <laughs> but actually in English, you wouldn't be saying I need, right? You wouldn't go into a restaurant, I need number three. You probably would be saying I would like to have or I want or just even number three meal, please. And if you remember, that's exactly right in Cantonese. They try to shorten everything, right? So you really would probably just say Sam Ho Chan Guy. But for my purposes for today, we want to talk about the yu. So I've added this one in for the ngo yu, sam ho chan. Okay, moving on now to the giu. Giu is to tell, uh, to tell or to ask. That's one way you can use this verb. So for example, giu kao lei. Giu kao lei is tell, I didn't write the English. Maybe I'll subtitle it down below. But that's tell him to come. Lei is to come. So giu kao lei. Uh, it's kind of a funny story when my kids were little and they would go to their grandparents house It was like I said Cantonese They try to use the shortest amount of words possible to get their meaning across and they would always ever just say Gaze <laughs> lei Like gaze is older sister if you remember Gaze uh, lei So just gaze come no indication why or where they are, just come. And we would hear this from, and it was always kind of made us smile and, and laugh. And then of course she would go and see what was up. But moving on. Giu kao bei right? Giu kao bei is tell him to pay money or tell him to pay. Obviously if you're paying, you're usually paying with money. So giu kao bei It also means to order. Uh, so to order would be giu ma ye se, giu me se. Remember the mat ye can be all run together. So giu me se, giu mat ye se. Order what to eat, and you could also put the a particle at the end there. Giu mat ye se ga. Okay, that's to order. So the order like giu mat ye mai ngo yu sam ho chan. Okay, and then to call. Of course, we went over before. So those are the two verbs that I wanted to introduce because we will be using them in the sentences. So give me a quick minute to erase the board here and I'll come back with sentences using our theme guide and then why. Okay, see you in just a minute. Bye. Okay, so I'm back with just a few sentences on the board, so let's take a look. The first one we've got is, why did you tell me to get up? Say in the morning, you've gotta, you've gotta wake somebody up, and they're like, why did you tell me to get up? Okay, so ding gai lei gyo a hei san. Ding gai lei gyo a hei san. Hei san is get up, okay? Ding gai is your why. Lei, you, gyo, tell, ngo, low rising, me. Hei is that myth, hei san. Hei san goes right up and down, so it's kind of easy to say the hei san. Ding gai lei gyo a hei san. Yan wai, because. Yan wai lei yu fan ho. Yan wai lei yu fan ho, because you need to go to school, okay? So yan wai, because um, lei yu fan ho. Fan is that low, am uh, high folly? Fan ho, right down to the ground. So start up high and just go straight down. Fan ho, right? Fan ho is go to school. Stay up high for the going to work would be fan gong, right? Fan gong. Yan wai lei yu fan gong, right? Fan gong. You need to go to work, okay? So that would be something in the morning you might hear and you might want to use, right? Hei-san, do you go like you are hei-san? Yama le yu fan ho, yama le yu fan gong. Okay, another one in the evening might be Ding gai le yu ngo fan gao, right? Ding gai le yu ngo fan gao. Fan gao is just that mid-tone go to sleep. Fan gao, right? Ding gai le yu ngo fan gao. Now this one I chose to use the yu. Why do you want me to go to sleep? You could just put that giu in there as well. Why are you telling me to go to sleep? Ding gai lei giu ngao fan gao. Ding gai lei giu ngao fan gao. Okay, same thing. Fan gao. Sleep. Okay, go to sleep. You could just say that, in fact. A lot of times it's just like, wait, fan gao. 
And that's literally saying, go to sleep, okay? Fan gao. And the answer might be because, yin wei o gin do le hong an fan. Yin wei o gin do le hong an fan. So yin wei, because ngo gin do, o gin do is I'm able to see, I can see. I'm not really sure if that do is the right way to spell it, but it's just gin do, you're able to see. Yin wei o gin do le ho, very right, ho an fan. This ngan, well this ngan means your eyes, right? Ngan is eye. Right, so nan fun. This fun is the same one as this one, right? Nan fun. It's like your eyes are sleeping, right? I see your eyes are really tired. I see, I see you're tired. So literally, it just means I see you're really tired or sleepy. Okay. Yang mai oki no le hong an fun. Okay, so these, there's not that many sentences, and I apologize. It's getting kind of late here on Saturday. Got to get ready for tomorrow because it. Super Typhoon is supposed to hit around 11, so there's a lot of things we want to get done before that. I am still trying to put together the Mahjong video. I did with my mother-in-law, and I feel so bad about that because it's taking me forever. Editing is not my strong suit, and um, I, I, I like doing it to see the finished product, but sometimes it's really, really hard. It's so tedious, and I hate that stuff. But I'm working on it, and hopefully I'll get that Mahjong video up for you guys. Uh, soon, sooner rather than later. And I expect that tomorrow, if we're stuck inside all day, there'll be not a lot to do, so I'll be able to work on it then. But until then, um, oh, and one more thing. I started an Instagram channel, and it's called Cantonese Corner. What else? And it's just, I, I think I'm gonna have so much fun with it because I love posting stuff um, around Hong Kong, things that are going on. And it's always this running joke I have with my kids that I put on these videos called and I always send them to them like on WhatsApp and things and I title them, go for a ride with me. And literally it's me on public transport going for a ride. So I look forward to adding more of those videos. Please follow along on Instagram and I look forward to seeing you again here on YouTube on my Cantonese corner. If you like it, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you so, so much. And I'll see you again here on my little Cantonese corner. Bye.